Hey, what is up, players? We're about to stay up in this mug. Welcome to my day 30 video for the May Painting Challenge 2015 in June. Wrapping it up, you might have seen my party girls' pictures on the Facebooks and on the Twitter. You can find that at Warboss Tay on both of those sites. I'm actually going to show you the wrap up video for the entire party girls' project. I just have these orcs out because I've been working on them and I kind of wanted to show them to you. Maybe I'll be able to, uh, to do a piece on them tomorrow. Uh, they're for a different commission. They are Bad Moon Orc Commandos painted at a War Master color scheme, so I'm going for bright yellows and I'll talk about this more tomorrow or the next day, but I'm, I'm doing a yellow camouflage pants color scheme, which for any of you who were around in the 90s, you might remember the obnoxious urban and uh, other colored camouflage pants being pretty big. At least they were in my high school, and uh, I think I've got a pair of them around somewhere. Ridiculous. Doing a lot of checkered color schemes, and um, I love this kind of like ski mask. What are they called? Baklavas? That this guy is wearing. Uh, Bad Moons. Great, great fun. And look how crisp the new camera is with the colors and everything. Oh, thank God for HD. And uh, thank you guys for following my work. All right, stay tuned to see what I was able to finish with the Party Girls and follow along. There's some pictures up on Facebook and Twitter. I made uh, two sets of pictures on Facebook if you want to check them out. The first one, I wanted to take these shots and do them like really artistic looking. And uh, so I did filters and I put them through some uh, high contrast uh, filters and I, I think they came out really nice and if you just want to see what the colors look like without all the filters and just natural lighting then that's what the second set of uh, pictures are for so check those out let me know what you think and thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video what is up players it's warboss tip in this mug i'm going to take you through the party girls commission that i've been working on and i want to show you everything that comes in it that the client has ordered and all the components and uh, here's an overview of the army and what a great army it is. When the client told me about the theme for this army, I was really excited to hear his, his ideas. It's completely original. As far as I know, I've never heard of it before, and I really wanted to take the themes that he was going for and run with it. So it is a Chaos Space Marines force, and it's called the Party Girls. They are Space Marines and Chaos Space Marines with demonette and female zombie heads. The skin is the standard demonet bluish gray, so for most of the Chaos Space Marines and uh, the characters in the purple armor, you're going to see that I went for the demonet color scheme for the skin. I was given a little bit of creativity with the hair, so I decided to do some of them as blondes, some of them as redheads, some of them as brunettes, to give them a little bit of individuality, because I think um, that's something that this this force would, would admire. Most... Space Marines or Chaos Space Marines like Unity. I, I guess Chaos Space Marines are more into the individual embellishments than regular Space Marines are that are very, very much about the doing things in a standard way according to the Codex. So I decided to give these characters and even the regular Space Marines a lot of individuality, which we'll talk about, especially when we get into the, uh, the brand names that I did on their insignias. So you've got 31 troops. Uh, the 10 Terminators here that you see in the back are called the Prom Queens. Their armor is red. You've got 20 cultists. The cultists are called the Xs. I think that's hilarious. With one piece of clothing purple on each one. Uh, in, in the case of the cultists, I actually did the medallions, the chaos icons, as purple to give them the, that unifying element so that no matter which one you look at, they've got that identifying purple medallion. The obliterators in the back there, you see them, they are called the Big Sisters. And the Hellbrute is, actually I called it the Big Mama before, but it's actually the Big Daddy. So... I think it's such a cool, cool force. So let's take a look at what you've got. Here in the front, let's see if I can get some better lighting on them. You've got, uh, I've got these guys separated from the rest of the Chaos Space Marines because they have, uh, they're the ones from the Dark Vengeance kit. They're bigger, beefier, they're more intricately designed, and uh, I really enjoyed painting all the details on them.
I'm sorry, let me get my camera to focus here a bit. We got this one female zombie head on this one. Uh, some of them have have very simple conversions like an added Tau rifle or a decapitated dwarf's head. And some of them, the conversions are pretty, pretty elaborate using conversion bits from other companies. And uh, here you've got a weapon replacement on the right arm, what looks like a Grey Knight's weapon. So uh, very cool. Here we've got the X's. Like I said, I really tried to go with a, a triad coloring system, which I learned from Tabletop Painting 101. And it's basically doing three consecutive highlights in a color range. So I went for, from a dark blue, if you take these, this hooded guy here, a dark blue to a lighter blue to a cold icy blue. Whereas in the back, I wanted to go with a more turquoise blue-green. So I went from a dark blue to a sea green to a little bit of a lighter shade of green. Even with the grays, if you highlight from from black to a gray and then go to a lighter gray, it'll look completely different if you go from black to gray to an, uh, an actual like a bone color, like ivory. So uh, it really was a fun exercise for me to grow my skills as a painter. Those are the X's. Let's take a look at the party girls here on this side. Like I said, you can see here this ooh, this demonette girl in the front has an alternate range hammer, thunder hammer. Pretty cool. Most of them have demonette heads. Some of the older Chaos Space Marine models. Oh, this is an interesting one here in the front because it's got what looks like a power sword and a storm shield with a power fist. All right, then you've got um, lots of plasma weapons. So I went with the cold blue highlighting up to a white just to give it a pot of pop of color, spot of brightness. And then, yeah, as you can see, I'm still trying to get the lighting arrangement for my studio um, settled. I've got a yellowish light on, on the left and I'm trying a more daylight colored LED on the, on the right. Just trying to see what works and what doesn't. So it creates this uh, kind of diffused yellow to white look. Um, what, what did I really want to talk about was the branding on the Chaos Space Marines. Here, let me see if I can find one of these girls that has a brand. I went with for their insignia because they are an original, I guess, war band. They don't have a um, transfer sheet. I went with brand names. So designer brands, logos specifically. So Calvin Klein, we've got Gucci, Chanel. Um, I tried to do them on all of the blank Coco Chanel. I tried to do them on all of the blank shoulder pieces and I also wanted to do gold detailing on all of the weapons. So any of the black areas, I did a little bit of gold detailing touch up. It's another Coco Chanel. Here's a Duke. He's getting so big. Um, you've got heavy weapons in here, you've got uh, LAS cannons, plasma cannon, missile launcher. Here in the back we have the prom queens. I really enjoyed painting them up. You might have seen them in the other uh, daily update videos for the May painting challenge in June. So uh, I'm going to show you, because I kind of showed them to you one by one, when you see them here all put together like this, then it's they look a lot more cohesive. The bright red armor with the bright silver trim looks really, really nice. Uh, I put the 10th Terminator over there because he's the old school metal one. I wanted to give him a little bit of, of uh, distinction and I just really enjoyed painting him up. Here you've got the four uh, characters which were done with the dark purple armor, silver trim, but I gave them light blue as a cloth color to give them a little bit of um, pop because when you see them on the field with the Chaos Space Marines or wherever they're going to be, you want them to be distinctive. 
you've got the three over there. What were they called? The mutilators are the big sisters. A lot of fun painting those. I love painting the bone and the, the flesh for that. And finally in the back there with a little bit of decorative basing is the big daddy. So this was a commission job for the studio painted at a war master level, which means um, three successive layers of highlighting, extra shades, glazes, and um, all of that good stuff, more intricate detailing and freehand for the shoulder pads, um, swirled patterns where I could put them, highlighting techniques for the uh, cultists to really emphasize the cloth, and really just um, my uh, the highest level of skill that I could produce for a project at this point. So I, I hope the client is happy with it, and I'm glad you guys got to see it. Please leave me a comment or some feedback, and if you'd like me to if you'd like to commission me to paint something for you, then you can reach me at warbosstastestudios at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, everybody.